Right, so how to build Chlorand and Genshin Impact? The way you want to build Chlorand is actually pretty easy. Stack crit and stack attack. That's pretty much all you need to know. For her talents, you should pretty much try to level her entire kit to output the most amount of damage. Now she has this thing where you use her elemental skill and that would convert your normal attacks to like a cool um, attack state, I want to say, where you turn your normal attacks into electro damage and she shoots a lot of, you know, pistol bullets and it looks pretty cool. Okay, and she dishes out some damage. Each time she shoots one time, you get a bond of life. And after you get a bond of life three times, you can use your elemental skill again, in which you would dash and then you would heal yourself and consume the bond of life you've gained, which is pretty cool. Now for her burst, she deals a lot of damage, but also you get a bond of life amount as well. So what you could do is burst, use your skill, use your skill again, heal, and then you just, you just dish out a lot of damage this way which I think is pretty awesome. Or if you want to maximize your burst damage, you would do the skill first and then normal attacks and burst. It's pretty simple to me. As for the artifacts, now you want to use the Bond of Life one called Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy. If you have Arlochino, this would actually be pretty efficient to farm in the domain if you only have you know, these two characters together. Otherwise, it's not efficient at all and you'd want to stick with something like gladiators in which case you probably have a gladiator set ready to go because probably the substats are even better anyway now, other than that if you want to use thundering fury it could possibly be okay so you can use your skill more or if you want <laughs> another option even go with the two piece shaman now two piece like attack percentage whatever it is whether it's for a million whether it's glad whatever it is you could do that too but I don't recommend using a 4-piece Shimanawa set because you'd make bursting much more difficult. But yeah, avoid that. If you want to use Marishose, you could actually do that too if you have Furina on your team. Right, for the main stats, you want to focus on Attack Percentage Sands, Electro Damage Bonus Goblet, and Crit Rate or Crit Damage for the Mask, depending on what kind of weapon you have, or just what your Crit Rate is looking like. So, for these substats, you'd want to have at least a little bit of VR. So your main focus should be crit rate, crit damage, attack percentage, some ER, and then lastly EM. Okay, you want to have at least like 125% ER to have your thing maxed out, good to go all the time. But if you want to stay like around the average, maybe 110%. So at least have a little bit of ER. For her weapons, the best installed is obviously her own weapon. We could use different weapons on her, like the Haran, Aid Cutter, Mist Splitter, Holier Incision, which is in the banner too, which makes it really easy for you guys to summon on and, you know, get either or, or even Chiori's 5 star would be pretty great. Then for 4 stars, you want to use Black Sword, Black Cliff, Wolf Fang, but if you don't have any swords, you just use attack percentage weapons or crit rate weapons, whatever you guys have, you can use that pretty easily. Now, it should be fine uh, to use other four stars, like maybe in the Fontaine Craftable, Lion's Roar should be okay, um, especially because you get a little bit nice from the substats, which is cool. Or you could even use the three star weapon, the Harbinger of Dawn. It, it would be pretty okay, you guys can get a bunch of stats from that, but you would need someone to give you a little bit more attack, so you, you're gonna have to find it. Oh, you want to put her in a team, which characters would you want to put into that team? So, first thing I thought is, hey, what kind of teams do I want? Do I want Hyperbloom with maybe Nahida, Beido, um, Yelan, or Furina? Now, the thing is, when I think of Hyperbloom, is you know a lot of electro happening. So, if we can manage to do that with this character, which I don't really know if we can. I don't know if her bullets do that a lot. Um, but if we can, it'll be pretty okay, uh, Hyperloom, because you do need Elemental Mastery for it to be maximized, right? So, you can have that, or you can maybe replace Beidou with maybe Fischl, Yaimiko, or even Ride Emperor. So yeah, I don't know if she would apply Electro like that, but if she can pop the blooms, that'd be pretty cool. So, maybe, even you want to use Overload. Overload would be pretty good with Chevros, obviously. Chevros, maybe with Shangling, Fischl or maybe Vado, maybe whoever it is, pretty easy. As long as Shivers is on the team, you're good to go. 
This is probably one of the more fun themes too, having Overload. It's just, it feels new because these types of characters now with the Chevros would actually be nice. Okay, so you can also have a Mono Electro team. Um, Mono Electro has to have, you know, all Electro characters, but in this case, you'd probably want to have one animal character that can get a little bit of shredding going on. So maybe have Sucrose in there or Kaza preferably. Both would be pretty good options and yeah, it'd be pretty nice. Now, I do think using Aggravate team would be amazing. Definitely one of her best teams. So definitely having the Hido, definitely having another Electro character in there. Maybe even a, a bonus one at the end. It would be pretty awesome. Aggravate is probably one of the best teams for her in general. So, an example would be Clorind, Nahida, maybe Fischl or Yaimiko, whoever you want, Beidou even use them and then uh sucrose or cause any animal character but if you're like oh i don't know what to do i only built national team well you can use her national like you would with raiden but it won't be as great as i think it would be but hey you can use it anyway anyways that is pretty much all i wanted to talk about burnt has a lot of things on her kit and her plate and she will dish out a lot of damage so it won't really add too much to your account other than the fact that she's pretty awesome she plays like a character straight out of an anime in my case exactly what i want to go for this character with a pistol that appears and disappears in rapid succession and it looks pretty sick that's all from me let me know your thoughts in the comments after you've definitely subscribed and liked to this video see you guys in the next one